Hi all, in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to exchange your current 500GB PlayStation 4 hard drive for a new Seagate 1TB 2.5 inch solid state hybrid drive. Now I'm also going to demonstrate to you what I currently have on my hard drive, what's taken out the majority of the spaces. A closer look, you could see all I've got is a good 183GB worth of free space. That, I believe, is enough for five to six more games to be installed. And the rest is made out of my uh, video captures uh, of gameplay and uh, other various applications. Now, if we take a closer look inside of the application as to what's installed, you could see uh, you've got the various games. I pretty much have the latest uh, games that are currently available on PlayStation 4. And uh, as you could see, the most graphically used games does tend to take a huge chunk of your hard drive, um, NBA 2K14, a good 46 gig, Killzone 33, and so on. So the more graphically your game is, the more, I believe, it pretty much going to require a lot to be installed on your hard drive itself. Now, the first thing you want to do is plug in a USB flash drive, something more than one gigabyte. I've got an eight gig there, for example. You want to go into the flash drive, create a new folder, name that first new folder as PS4, and then you want to go into that folder itself, create another folder, and you want to name that folder as Update. Now you need to go into Sony's website to download the latest PlayStation 4 software. Uh, I will provide the link under the video description. Uh, at the time of recording this video, the latest software version was 1.52. So make sure the flash drive has been formatted, you want it all clean, and then you want to go ahead and install the provided file onto that flash drive. Sony on the website, as you can see here, does provide you all the information that is required as to how to uh, go through the whole setup, what needs to be done in order for the whole process to work smoothly. So you're going to download the file, you're going to install the file onto your PC laptop, you're going to open that file, you want to take the ps4update.pup file and you're going to put that onto your um, flash drive. So I'm going to go onto the next stage to show you how. Now I've downloaded the file, I've opened up my Mac, and then you'll find inside of it the ps4update.pup file. Now you want to take that file, and put it inside of the flash drive under the update folder. So you go into the PS4 folder you created, in the update folder you created, and then you want to drag this file over and put it right there and wait for it to install to move on to the next stage. Once the folder has been installed, it will look something like this on a Mac. Of course, Windows will look different, but at least you'll have the folder uh, available as it is. Going backwards, you could see the update, the PS4 folder update PSO folder and there it is it's all done for you now you want to go into the PlayStation 4 and you want to open up the glossy part all you need to do is just slide your finger and the part will just easily come off and then right there you have the hard drive as indicated and you want to take that hard drive out so first thing you're going to have to do is just unscrew one particular screw that you have that's holding the hard drive itself once that's done you want to slide the hard drive out which is easily done. There's the hard drive itself. Then you have four screws by the side. So you need to unscrew those screws that are holding the hard drive in the bracket. You've got another two screws. You want to unscrew those as well. And then the hard drive should nicely come out nice and easy out of the bracket. So I would advise you do keep this uh, standard hard drive. You never know, you may need it as a spare hard drive, just in case the one that you currently have just goes into a complete mess. So keep your original hard drive, safekeeping, wrap it up nicely into the same packages that you would get with your new hard drive. Now you do want to keep that bracket right here because what you're going to do is use the new hard drive and install it the same way that you took the old hard drive out. Here's the look at the new hard drive. I got it off Amazon. I will leave the link description under the video. 
you just got to make sure with these hard drive that the size is 2.5 not 3.5 so you want the correct size in order to fit the PlayStation so they're the normal laptop uh, hard drive sizes so what we're going to do is take the new hard drive the same way you took the old one out slide it all the way in making sure the main attachments is facing outwards uh, so when you put it in it will connect into the PlayStation 4 uh, you want to put the four screws back on again once those four screws are put back on you want to slide in the hard drive the same way that you took it out now you won't really hear any click or anything as far as I'm concerned I didn't hear any click but I still gave it a little nudge in just to make sure it was nice and secured inside um, before I actually screwed it up once that's done you want to take that same screw that you took out and you want to screw that screw back in just to tighten the hard drive in place once that's done and you've tightened the screw the hard drive should be secure and it's not really falling out or slipping out whatsoever at all and then you want to grab the glossy PlayStation part and you want to pretty much just slide it back in it will just click back in the same way that it clicked back out Now remember you want to take the old hard drive, you want to put it in the same plastic that you took the new one out of. That way you're, not, you know, you're going to preserve it and protect the hard drive. Connect your PlayStation 4 up as normal with all your TV connection and everything. Plug in the USB hard drive with the installed software that you downloaded onto into the front USB of your PlayStation 4. You also want to connect the DualShock 4 controller to your PlayStation 4 as well via the wire that came with the controller if you don't do this and you decide to put the PlayStation 4 on you'll receive the following message which I got in the first place where I just put the machine on and I didn't connect the controller now you want to put the PlayStation into safe mode and by doing so you need to press down the power button for a good five to seven seconds and that will bring you up the safe mode on your screen and you want to select um, option number seven initialize PlayStation 4 reinstall system software and you just simply follow the steps um, that's provided to you on your screen and the PlayStation will initialize the hard drive and then uh, the next following step it will it restart and uh, install the software update and that should just go back to uh, the actual software itself once the software update is completed you'll get the following on your screen asking you to put on the uh, DualShock controller on um, even though it's flashing yellow you do need to put it on so just press the controller PS button down and that will take you through to the next stages of the setup you set up your internet connection date and time power saving settings agree to the user agreement and then you're all good to go it will take you to the PlayStation's 4 uh, UI and then uh, just test to make sure everything is working everything runs smoothly uh, any disk that you have um, already inside of the PlayStation 4 it will automatically install in my case I had FIFA uh, in the PlayStation 4 so just quickly test to see if it works completely fine uh, it's a good 20 seconds quicker than the uh, standard hard drive uh, we'll have a look at how much space we have uh, currently at the moment so you go into the system storage management and as you could see right there FIFA is the only um, application installed 12 gigabyte as before and I have now free space 850 gigabyte uh, the PlayStation 4 does reserve I believe um, about 160 um, gigabytes of space for itself so uh, you you will see you know a good 850 so roughly we're talking about 25 games I believe that can be installed onto this hard drive bearing in mind you're not going to keep every single game I'm not going to keep FIFA 2014 when next year FIFA 2015 come out so the space currently available should be sufficient enough for you if not then I would advise going up to um, the 1.5 terabyte or the 2 terabyte um, hybrid drive which I believe will be available in 2014 alright so a quick update from the last time when I installed a new um, hybrid um, hard drive um, I have to say it works uh, very smoothly everything has been perfectly fine 
I've managed to install um, all my games onto the hard drive. It runs, compared to the standard one, I would say 20 seconds quicker. I do, you, you do notice certain games tend to load uh, much more quicker than the standard one itself. Um, I've literally installed all my add-ons. Uh, if you go into the library, you could see all the add-ons that I've installed. I've got a few demos as well that I downloaded just to try out uh, to see if they were worth it. Uh, let's have a look at the um, at how much space I have. So you would go on the system storage management, and as you could see there, I've got a good 634 gigabyte of free space. That's after installing a good 226 gigabyte of applications. So if we look at these applications, you've got. Uh, FIFA there and all the other games we're talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 games um, overall that's installed and then you've got a few applications that I've installed that I like to um, use. So 10 games, a few applications, that's taken a good 226 gigabyte worth of space. And I still have left over a good 630 gigabyte worth. So maybe I could install another additional 15 games to 20 games, I believe, um, on top of what the games I currently have. So I'm pretty happy with this amount of space. And uh, as I said previously before, I'm not going to keep majority of these games forever. So I, I, I don't really see anyone who's really going to need a lot more um then one gigabyte maybe 1.5 should be okay or two um but to me uh one um terabyte sorry one terabyte is uh more than sufficient enough for me